Hi there. Um, this is going to be the first video on eating disorder. And these two books that I'm going to introduce are on anorexia. So the first one is pretty uh, famous. It's called The Hunger Point. I don't like the cover, but anyway, it's called The Hunger Point by Julian Madoff. And she has, she's actually the writer of Good Girl Gone Bad. So I mean, if any of you know it, maybe you want to watch, uh, read this book. Um, it has been made into a movie version, but I totally don't like the movie version because it's so unreal. And I'm not sure because, you know, good authors are people who have gone through the experience and they write about it. But uh, Juli Julian here, she, I don't think she went through eating disorder, so. The portrayal of eating disorder in the film uh, on top of like when she hasn't uh, when she hasn't really go through this experience on top of the film director interpretation of the eating disorder just make the film worse because there are a lot of like negative comments on on the film but the book is actually all right acceptable it doesn't exactly portray how horrible eating disorder is um, the main character of this book is called Franny she is 26 years old she has she is struggling with her job but the main the the poem didn't lie in her is it lied in her family who uh, her family consists of her mother her father and her sister and her sister it's a perfectionist so she this is so she's anorexic she uh, is applying supposedly applying for Harvard and her parents are forcing her pers are forcing her to like um, to apply to go for this application while uh, beside that she is having an affair with like another man and the father is obsessed with food network the grandfather wants to plan her wedding and Franny is struggling with work so this is a uh, Third person, is it third person or second person? It's a second person account of the anorexia itself because it talks about not only Franny's problem about but also about her sister's problem. Um, well, uh, it turned out it's a really really sad story because uh, Franny struggled with this family issues and also in dealing with her sister anorexia because she doesn't understand uh, the film started off really good but it ended it just doesn't describe eating disorder properly and um, well, why am I stuck here okay um, so why I recommend this book is because um, if you want to be it, it also involves hospitalization of uh, her anorexic sister who decide to go for what she want in the end she was struggling with school and stuff she was a perfectionist she doesn't think she could do good well enough she was hiding her problem until the day her sister find out that she's purging in the toilet um, so uh, then afterwards, her sister was started to seek therapy, and her family has to come to the terms that, oh, my perfect doctor, my my perfect daughter is sick, and now she needs to see a therapist, and they are they are still in denial of this whole situation. So what happened is she got discharged uh, on the condition that she looks well enough, and in the end, it was really really sad because. Her sister committed suicide at home and it was because of her anorexia that she died in the end not because of the drug overdose um, so I basically reviewed the whole story to, for you to you but I, I recommend you reading this book because it's quite interesting um, compared to the film I, w I don't really like the film anyway so so basically yeah, this is about family relationship because eating disorder pretty much relates with family issues and stuff. The second book, called Second Star to the Right, it's not a very popular book, 
It was first published in 1981. That's why it look a bit, little bit old and it's very very thin as you can see. There's an afterwards which is written by the author who is a real life personal account of her own story that anorexia is not something to be ashamed of. It's not something to be proud of. It isn't anybody's fault. It is an illness, a life-threatening illness and it's treatable. This is a very inspirational story because it involves this girl who is a very bright, attractive, talented young teenager who has a very privileged uh, life in New York City and she is a perfectionist. So Nina Starlight, if you're watching this, this is probably the right book for you. Um, so anyway, she, she is so perfectionist that she wants to be perfect in her schoolwork and then at this point of time the stress started to get to her and she started to diet which caused her to deteriorate until she's almost to the point of death but it's a very inspirational in the way that um, she discussed her own struggle in during that time which eating disorder wasn't really known about uh, so and what devastating effect it has on her own life and the wait and the the main point of this story is that she recovered in the end and it tells you that eating disorder is treatable and you should I recommend those of you who want to relate to something about professionalism and and how you can come compromise with with the with the illness itself and how to overcome the problems in life so this book I also found it um, it's like this I also found it on related themes uh, not exactly that I know this 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 the name of this book that's why I searched for it but this goes to those who are perfectionists and are suffering from eating disorder so that's the first book on the eating disorder, I'm going to do more later, so I'll see you guys.